Yes, lucky I. My name is Captain Seas, and welcome back to another Pokemon analysis and battle video. Um, so yeah, today I go up against the Pewter Pin Missiles. Um, yeah, so he had a very, uh, very bulky team. I want to say, um, his only threat to me is the Excadrill, and hmm. Not really, maybe the Rotom Walk as well. Uh, but to be honest, um, my, my team is well prepared for that, and I will be getting that in a second. He has an SBM, MS Swine, Gastrodon, Flygon, Miss Magius, Weezing, Granbull, Girder, Mega Pinsir, and Mega Sceptile. Now, the first thing that I thought I was like, Manaphy is great versus this guy because I can throw up with versus Tail Glow, I can get rid of every single. Uh, Walls that he has, meaning Gramble, Girder, Weezing, maybe even like defensive flag on with Defog, um, Gastrolon and Rotom Wash. Every single defenses, every single walls that he has, Manaphy is straight up um, kills it because I can set up versus maybe the Escadrille predicting the Aswishin, and uh, I can go for Energy Ball versus the Gastrolon, have Energy Ball versus the Gastrolon. I have energy ball for the Rotom Watch. I have Skull because stab and it gets the job done with the Skull Burns, you know? I have Tail Glow, plus 3 it kills everything. I have Shadow Ball because of Miss Magius. And yeah, I mean, just, just Oko's everything to be honest. Um, I have enough speed to outspeed, max speed, Excadrill, and I uh, used some Bulking Ball to live some hits. Uh, because Manaphy is really bulky across the board, 100. Uh, the next mon that I want to go is Talonflame. Now, Talonflame is also good. Um, I run, this time I'm going to run a Substitute Bulk Up set because uh, I can set up versus Granville or Girder or even Weezing and just go just Bulk Up. And uh, Talonflame is also good because the Priority Brave Bird. It helps to it helps just Oko Mega Pinsir Mega Sceptile, um, and it just helps uh, helps in general because I can use Bulka versus maybe Flygon. Oh, well, sorry, yeah, it's like Rock Slide. Oops. <laughs> um, it's just Talonflame is just good in in general. It's helped me late game enough speed to outspeed speed Mega Pinsir Jolly. So yeah, that's gonna be a thing. Um, yes, yes, a good mana uh, overall. Um, the next thing that I have is a defogging error, Mega Redactyl, because uh, my team lacks, my team lacks, uh, my team, <sighs> my team lacks. <laughs> has the removal. Jesus Christ, I'm not in my game today. All right. Um, I have Defogger, uh, Defogger, I have Defog, Aerolite, Iron Head, Roost, I have Iron Head because of the Gramble, nothing else, basically, and now uh, maybe the Mammal Swine, Sup a little surprise, um, and uh, yeah, I know I get well by Escadrill, but I bring this because of Defog and because Mega Pinster and Sceptile, I have enough speed to always be Mega Sceptile, and then the rest in bulk, I wanna say, so yeah, it's gonna be a thing. Um, it's gonna be a tough one if he brings Rotom. He's probably gonna bring Rotom plus the Gramble or the Gastrolon or maybe the three, the entire three, to just deal with my uh, Talon Flame. So yeah, that's the thing. And then I have Roost to predict switch outs and stuff. So yeah. Then I have my Spiritomb. Spiritomb. <sighs> it's my switch in to. Excadrill, Flygon, I uh, can set up versus Rotom Watch, can set up versus the Girder, can set up versus the Mega Sceptile. Um, if I get if I get a Calm Mine up, can set up after. Um, it's just good cleaning late game actually, and a good mod overall. I can set up versus Gastrolan as well, and uh, yeah, it's just basically there for uh, setup. <laughs> Nothing really more. Uh, next we have Bronxon, Light Screen, and Stealth Rock. Bronxon, the thing, the mon that I brought last week. 
uh, it helps me versus Mega Pinsir and Sceptile. It helps me. The Gyro Ball helps me versus Mammal Swine. Uh, also, Bronzor helps me versus Flygon and Mammal Swine. Helps me versus Scramble as I have Gyro Ball. It helps that our Brock's Light Screen reflects. It's really bulky and it's just amazing overall. And I just love this mod in this um, format leak formats. Then, last but certainly not least, I have Amoongus. Amoongus is physically defensive. I have Amoongus just for the Escadrille, I have Amoongus for the Flygon, Mega Sceptile. Mega Sceptile does not to KO me uh, with Dragon Pulse. I have 20 in special defense so that I don't get to KO by Dragon Pulse. Um, and then the rest in HP and defense so that I can take on Escadrille. I can take on Flagon, I can take on Gramble and Weezing. Um, I mean, Gramble and uh, Girder. I can take anything from his Magius and retaliate back with a Foul Player, Sludge Bomb, or even Sport, Giga Ring, whatever. I can take on Rotom W, Side Chalk will definitely do a lot, but uh, I can use Sludge Bomb the Espeon, but I'll probably get a Poison. And uh, Giga Ring, the Gastron, amazing. Um, Amoongus is great versus this guy, which is amazing. Um, got the Black Slash Re Regenerator. And I have Foul Play for the Escadrille if he wants to bring that in. I have Giga Drain, Slash Bomb. Whew, I'm tired. And then I have Spore, putting something to sleep. And yeah, that's just basically it. That's basically it. Um, so yeah, this is the team. And uh, I'll be battling this guy in soon. Sit back and relax because this is gonna be a woozer now this guy is bringing some heats right now he brought pincer and septile it's gonna be a guessing game <laughs> so i honestly thought he would bring the rotom watch the caster on and the escadero i didn't thought he would bring the espion though uh though this would be mega pincer then he brought this guy so it's like a guessing game i guess um, yeah, guessing. Anyways, uh, starting off, I lead off with Spirit Tomb because I thought he would lead off with the uh, Rotom Wash. Or the Espeon predicted me to go out into my uh, uh, Bronze Song. So, right here, he will always me, right? And I use Shadow Ball for some damage. I need this weaken. I'm gonna get off another Shadow Ball uh, weakening something here. And, um,. He goes out into the Gastrodon. Um, I wanted to set up here so badly, but it's just so early game. I just couldn't. So right now I'm gonna go into my Amoongus and I get scald burned. Uh, it's already it's, it's this battle is haxy, not really, but just skull burns. Right here I just go for the sludge bomb. I do not get a <laughs> poison, which sucks. He breaks my Bronx on very uh, cool. On his part, and I'm gonna go into my uh, bronze song, you know, just slice green up. Gonna get off my rocks as he crits me with scald and burn me at the same time. God damn! Alright, I'm gonna go to my Amoongus, and right now I am just going to get a Giga Drain off. Um, and he just deals 90% on this Espeon as he brings it in. I'm going to, I'm going to stay in versus Amoongus. You know, versus uh, Sylveon, and I'm going to Side Bomb again. That Side Truck did Deadly Squat. Yo, that's that. That's the Moongus right there, man. That's my boy Amoongus. So he brings his pin, Sir, Sir, pin, whatever, and he just returns, okay? I'm going to my Aerodax. I'm going to Mega Evolve for free, and I'm going to Air Lace. Now, judging by this damage, this guy is uh, especially defensive. Um, which is cool. If I was adamant, that would be a 2 KO. Maybe. Not really, I don't know. Anyways, he recovers, predicting my switch out, and I'm going to my Amoongus. I'm just going for the Sludge Bomb. I actually want to go for the Spore, but... I mean, heh. Whatever. He goes for the Rapid Spin, and, uh, that's okay. I can just get a Spore on this. And, uh, I'm going to Giga right now. Actually going to Giga. And then... He stays asleep, right? I just keep getting burn damage. I'm gonna Giga again. And 
on this turn I'm actually just going to switch out it's my Aerodactyl predicting the Mega the Mega Pinsir oh I mean my Tunnel Flame and then I'm going to uh, use just Brave Bird and right now I'm actually going to sub predicting either the Vol Switch or the Hydro Pump he lands the Hydro Pump unfortunately and right now I want to sub up here so that I can get off a uh, like news I don't know just sub up I switch into my Amoongus he predicts that it goes to bull switch it goes to his make mega pencil and that deals a lot of damage to my aerodactyl 52% that's a tweak KO man that was brutal so I go into my okay right here I want to aerialize twice because I was smelling like a double and I just I I was I, was, I, was, I just want to aerialize again because it's just like come on it's like so obvious but oh well just me trying to play safe and uh, he goes to return again that is that did 52 percent again this guy is adamant dude this guy this guy is carrying adamant freaking mega pincer so right now he has no reason not to roll switch as uh, he gains he gains initiative as he roll switch out into Mega Pinsir yet again, and I just sack my uh, spirit room right here, and uh, just just gone. Fifty-two percent just gone. So I go into my Manaphy, and I'm just going to Skull here, as I do not get a burn. I <laughs> I don't get lucky in this match. As I go into my Amoongus, and he reveals his Life Orb right now, and he goes for Hidden Power Fire. That did nothing, and I'm going to Sludge Bomb the uh, septile so right now I'm just going to uh, just sack my megarodactyl because it doesn't serve any purpose then I'm going to my boy Manaphy I'm going to skull he predicts I go to uh, the gastrodon I do not care I'm going I'm going with, for the tail glow he maybe predicts the toxic okay right here what I understood what I understand by him going for Ice Beam is that he thought that I thought that he would go for the Toxic so he kind of predicted my Amoongus to switch in it's either that or he just doesn't have Skull or Ice Beam I mean Skull or, or Power or whatever but that was probably you know not the best play but right here um, I just tell Glow and just Energy Ball uh, the crit did not mattered of course the time that I didn't need a crit right here I outspeed the mega pincer he must be like adamant and running bulk on his mega pincer I have enough speed to outspeed the excadrill and that ladies and gentlemen is a sweep by my boy Manaphy and I'm going to Oko this little watch for the victory that is three and two in the that is three and two for the Burbank Crocodile. Right now I have Catching Seas right here. And it's because I was, um, I was, uh, I got in as Catching Seas right after that because I, uh, I don't know, just, is what I see. I, the, either way, I was, I was in my alt, uh, Burbank Crocodiles. Um, just ignore the uh, Catching Seas here. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna be a three and two for the Verbank Crocodiles, and uh, let's hope that we keep the streak going because I'm on a streak, a victory streak. Yeah, and uh, let's get ready to see the other match preparation. <laughs>